Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you an amazing hair growth spray that you can use twice a week in order to promote massive hair growth. This spray is really good for hair loss or perhaps if you've got you know thin areas on your scalp that you're trying to grow hair from and also if you're just looking to just get thicker hair this is definitely one to consider because it's got amazing natural ingredients in it that can certainly uh, help promote healthy hair growth so I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video guys so you don't miss out on any useful information now before we dive into it thank you so much if you're returning subscriber I really appreciate your love and support if it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So consider hitting that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content for me. So let's hop into the video, guys. I thought I would introduce in this video basically where I get my aloe vera from because I do get asked this question quite a lot about where I get it from, and I usually get it from my Indian. A food store or Afro Caribbean food store. Um, I usually find it, you know, at the bottom of the shelf, pretty much. So they also have other things like, you know, plantain, yam, um, scotch bonnet, basically like all those um, African groceries. So that's basically where I get mine from. You can also get this on Amazon if perhaps you haven't got one that's local to you. I will find links for you guys and it will be in my description box. So definitely check that out. So we will be using uh, some aloe vera here. Now the this one that I'm using is basically some leftover aloe vera uh, that I had from another DIY. So I cut it into like two pieces and threw away the part at the bottom because that's the part that has latex in it and i decided to soak it for about 10 minutes just to remove all impurities from it now in the meantime we will be, we'll be making some rosemary juice now the way i do that guys is by putting some rosemary that i got from my grocery store into a pan and i'm adding some water to it now you can add more water if you want to guys or less it just depends on how much you're trying to make and then put that on the stove and allow it to boil for about 10 minutes now in the meantime i will be preparing my aloe vera juice now if you've been watching me from before guys you probably already know how to make aloe vera juice it's very nice and simple so you can skip this part um, if you already know how to do it uh, but if you don't uh, this is basically how you do it guys so just get the aloe vera flesh out of the aloe vera using a spoon you can also use a knife uh, if you're more comfortable with um, and then after we've done that guys we're now going to go ahead and put it in a blender and allow it to blend now the longer you blend this the more liquid so you end up with like a, an actual juice okay so if you blend it for long enough uh, but if you're looking for like a jelly like kind of consistency then you don't want to blend it for too long So after it's been blended guys this is basically what it looks like um, so nice and smooth we're now going to go ahead and strain it um, you can use a tea towel stocking cap um, or just a normal sieve that you got at home and just allow it to naturally drain uh, but I'm will be using a I will be using a tea towel here um, so if you're doing it just like I am just squeeze it gently to allow the aloe vera uh, juice to come out now aloe vera is really great for hair growth guys because it contains vitamin a c and e and these are known to contribute to cell turnover promoting healthy cell growth and also shiny hair and also it has vitamin b12 and folic acid that are actually known to keep our hair from falling out now aloe vera is really good because it can actually keep your hair nice and moisturized and also prevent it from breaking as a result and also it does sort of add a little bit of volume to your hair too now after we've done that guys we're now going to get our rosemary uh, juice off the fire uh, because it has boiled for long enough and then we're just going to go ahead and strain it using a sieve now rosemary is very good as well because it stimulates blood circulation to the scalp and promotes healthy hair growth 
and also it offers anti-inflammatory properties that helps to nourish the hair follicles and it also adds shine and luster to the hair so rosemary is one of those ingredients that have been definitely proven um, to help promote you know healthy hair growth so it has been scientifically uh, proven so i'll definitely suggest that if you're not using this it already in your regimen that perhaps you consider you know incorporating it in it so after i strained it guys you just want to let it just sit for a while just to cool down uh, in the meantime i will be adding my essential oils to my aloe vera juice so i'm using tea tree essential oil peppermint and rosemary essential oil these are great as well because they do improve blood circulation to the scalp and if you actually massage peppermint oil um you know to an area that is really thin or perhaps that you've lost hair from you will get a tingly sensation on that area and that's actually really good because it just means that is stimulating the follicles um, to help you know with hair growth so I'll definitely suggest that you know you do consider using essential oils in your regimen as well because it's just really great now I also added some vanilla fragrance oil just so I could give this a slightly different uh, smell because I wanted to leave this in my hair as a leave-in conditioner uh, but again it's optional guys you don't have to use uh, essential oils if you don't want to or also fragrance oils and I also added some olive oil about a, a tablespoon sorry and then i mix that all well now in, in the meantime the um rosemary juice had cooled down so it's now ready to get mixed with you know the aloe vera the reason why i did not want to mix it immediately is because i did not want to destroy any of the nutrients that we had in the aloe vera by you know providing it with heat like too much heat um so that's why i just allowed this to cool down fully before mixing well together so this is basically what it looks like after it's it's been combined together um, really nice and ready to use pretty much so I'm now going to transfer this to my spray bottle so that it's easier for me to use and for me to do that I will use a glass um, just to avoid you know any kind of spillage I still spilled it to be honest you know because that's how clumsy I can be sometimes um, so yeah transfer that to a spray bottle and then you're pretty much ready to use it now if at this point guys you still haven't thumbs up the video definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up it's really important because it does help push my videos out and also you know for it to reach more people um so yeah definitely thumbs up the video guys and also leave me a comment just so i can know what you think of this or if you've got any question i usually read them all guys so i will definitely answer so in this next part of the video i'm going to show you how i apply this to my hair um to help you know with the hair growth process so i definitely suggest that you keep on watching so I'm starting here on pretty much dry. I think this is basically what my hair looked like after I did, um, what's that called? I did a Moringa hair mask. I think it's a video just before this one. Um, so I did not get a chance to seal the moisture back in my hair, guys, after I did that mask. Yes, it does happen. It does happen that sometimes I just get so busy and yeah, I just don't. I just don't follow things through okay <laughs> don't be like me um yeah so i did not sit in the moisture so my hair kind of got dry again um so yeah i'm just here to sort of give moisture back to it and you know kind of style it as well because it kind of looked a bit rough so yeah this is basically what my hair looks like and that's what we're starting with um it is so somewhat nice and clean um so i'm just putting that to my ends you know always moisturize your ends especially if you are trying to retain length because that's the part that is usually drier and also older and most likely to to break um so and then i'm just applying that to my scalp you know making sure that i massage that well as well because remember guys we've got essential oils in this uh, mixture and also you know the aloe vera and rosemary are really good for hair growth so definitely apply that to your scalp massage that in nicely um to help you know increase blood circulation and easy absorption of this amazing uh, stuff to your full i mean by your follicles so after i did that guys i'm now going to go ahead and use a comb um just to detangle my hair um oh actually i forgot to say you also need an oil i will be using um 
coconut oil to seal the moisture in my hair um, again it doesn't have to be coconut oil guys you can use any other oil that you've got available it could be you know just olive oil argan oil uh, any other oil that you've got i love coconut oil as well because it helps penetrate the hair shaft and it's easily absorbed by the hair follicles but like i said any other oil will be absolutely fine so apply oil again to your to to throughout the length of your hair and also your your ends you know just to keep it nice and moisturized and then go ahead and detangle it now you don't have to comb it through just like i'm doing here if you usually finger detangle definitely do that um i detangle my hair always with a wide tooth comb um, so yeah, that's basically what I will be using for this. So after it's been nice and detangled guys, I'm now going to twist that section and then move on to the next and repeat until my hair is completely done um it usually does take me a bit of time to get through my hair to be honest at this time i was very impatient you know i had to do it and then take a break and then come back because yeah i don't know these days i'm just really not that motivated to do my hair to be honest does that ever happen to you guys let me know um does it ever happen that sometimes you just feel so demotivated to do anything um, that's basically the space I've been with at, at the moment to be honest so yeah um, so yeah I had to take a break and then come back but yeah I basically just repeated that throughout my entire head until the whole thing was completely done I did not include every single bit of the clip in this video because as you can imagine the video would have been really long otherwise um, so I just you know included just a little bit of you know um what i did and i'm just going to show you at the end pretty much you know what my hair looks like after it's been um done So this is pretty much it done guys I have finished you know moisturizing my hair and it's looking really good so much better than what I had initially and also it's got quite a lot of shine to it which is really good now the background looks slightly different because my kids came and invaded the space I was recording at before so I had to move um, so <laughs> that's basically what happens sometimes with these kids they will come and you know play with my camera play with the tripod and i'm like wait okay so i'm just i just have to like move so i had to run away from them um so that's why the background looks slightly different here um but yeah i pretty, pretty much finished doing it guys and i'm just using the leftover um spray or conditioner to just you know apply to the rest of my hair again and i'm also applying that to my scalp you know massaging that in nicely i usually don't like to waste stuff to be honest so if i have leftovers i'll usually pop it in the fridge or i'll try to you know um just go back on areas that perhaps i could have missed uh, during the process so this is pretty much it for for me today guys thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up also share it with someone you believe could learn or benefit from and also subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you next time bye